Hi everyone, it's Tim here. So we had our solar and battery system installed about two and a half weeks ago and I know a lot of you have been keen to see how it's all set up and everything so uh, let me take you on a quick tour. Okay so we have an east-west split array, nine panels on the east side, that's this side here, this is the front of the house and a mirror image of that on the back, nine panels on the back. These are Q-cell 380 watt all black panels and uh, combined on each side that gives 3.4 kilowatts so that's 6.8 kilowatts in total although of course because they're east and west split the maximum we're ever likely to get is about five kilowatts in the height of summer we have seen it very briefly hit five kilowatts every now and again um, over the last week or so um, but uh, generally speaking the peak at the moment this is early april is around about just over four kilowatts and it's about midday now so we're near, nearing the peak of the generation and we're currently generating just over four kilowatts so yeah, that's the, uh, the array and I'll pop inside now and show you the batteries. So while I'm out the front of the house, I'll just show you where the cable run comes from the panels. Um, the cables from the other array come through the loft and combine with these ones into this little bit of ducting here. And that just runs down the side of the house, through the wall just above the garage door and into the garage. So this is the inside of the garage where the cables come in from the solar array and they come through the wall there they can run all the way along the top of the garage all the way over here and then down into a little bit of trunking and this is where we have the battery system and the inverter so we have a five kilowatt uh, generation two uh, hybrid inverter from Gin give energy and we have a 9.5 kilowatt hour battery and that's the one on the right at the, on the lower right there and a 5.2 kilowatt hour battery on the lower left there so that gives us a total of 14.5 no 14.7 kilowatt hours of which i think about 13 and a half is usable and uh, this uh, arrangement is the other side of the wall from the um, under stairs cupboard where the consumer unit and other bits and bobs are and i'm going to show you those in a little bit but uh, let me open the garage door because i want to show you something else first So check out this little cable here. There's a little bit of ducting that pops out of the, of the uh, bottom of that trunking there. And it runs all the way along here, along the floor. This is the granny charger that we're using for our uh, Fiat 500 at the moment. And it pops through the wall. And then it disappears. But it actually continues under this row of bricks here. Pops out there goes underneath this little bit of drainage channel from the front door, pops out here, and then what's under here? Oh, that's a bit heavy. This is where the earthing cable goes into the ground. So this uh, goes about a meter down through the soil into the ground below and that is necessary for our um, power cut switch over okay so this is the under stairs cupboard where the consumer unit is so we have the consumer unit for the house here and we've got the eddy installed next to that got the router and some other bits and bobs then this is the new stuff that's been installed for the battery and solar system we've got a, a small um, extra consumer unit here which has uh, just got like an extra um, block in there for the uh, batteries and the solar. I don't really know what's going on in there, but uh, apparently it's necessary. And then the important thing is this very large switch here. So you can see this has three positions. Currently it's in position two, which is the standard grid tied connection. So we've got power coming in from the mains, but the house can also run from the battery and the solar system. Position zero is basically off, which means no power is coming from anywhere and position one means power is coming from only the battery and the solar system so effectively off grid so i'm not going to show you how this works in this particular video i'll save that for a whole separate video um, but uh, for now let's go back to the office and i'll run through the summary so there you go i hope you all enjoyed that now i'm sure you're also very keen to know what the total system cost was to install and i can reveal to you that the batteries plus the solar panels plus the installation the scaffolding and everything else came to a grand total of fourteen thousand one hundred and forty two pounds and fifty pence 
Right, so uh, with that out of the way, um, I'm going to be doing a full review of the Give Energy app in due course as well. So uh, look out for that one. And um, I've also got plans to demonstrate the um, the EPS, the Emergency Power Supply switchover, which uh, I um, hinted at earlier in the in the video. Um, so yeah, that I'll do that as a separate video because I, I think that's going to be quite interesting to show you. Um, but uh, yeah, for now, that's all I've got to say. And uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.